All right, conditions have been improving all day. It's going to carry into the 4th of July and be a really nice holiday as a whole. The weekend may not be perfect, though. Friday and Saturday we will track some rain chances, but we'll take the hiatus that's coming in with the rain right now as showers are now down near the state line. Far southeast Michigan is where the clouds now remain as well. And again, this evening, things improving sunshine humidity as well. 15 100s in Grand Rapids since midnight 18 100s in Holland. A few 100s in our northern communities and back to back days. Our southern communities missed out on any measurable rainfall with it. That means temperatures are going to warm up a little bit more there as they have been here today. So this system well off to the north. We're not going to get any wraparound cooler air. Our winds are actually going to stay out of the west or south and west here and not get that usual northwest wrap that comes with a cold front. So this is a very unusual system. We're just not seeing the brutal impacts of cooler air uh, from a usual system. We will on Friday though. Here's a look at the overcast skies that turn to sunshine here in Montcalm County. Just a few cumulus clouds left over. And it's a gorgeous view here set up for the evening and across the Midwest. Things are improving significantly again. Westerly wind, not northwest, so we're still going to be soaking in warmer air. Humidity is not going to drop anytime soon. The coolest in the state is 75 in Sault Ste. Marie. We do have some uh, lakeshore communities that are a touch cooler, but overall a nice setup here. One other thing of note, as mentioned, the dew points. Notice the 70s are on the south and east, so they are falling back to the 60s here this evening, but then they're going to build back up Thursday into Friday, be in the upper 60s near 70, kind of hold there for 48 hours or so. All right, Whitecaps game tonight. Got fireworks at the end of it. Temperatures in the low 80s, mostly sunny skies. Gorgeous setup here uh, right on through the evening hours. Here's Wednesday evening, mostly clear skies, into Thursday morning, mostly clear as well. We do carry this right into midday Thursday where a few clouds will be possible and as well as an isolated pop up in the area. Not too concerned about washout conditions for any pop up. It'll just be a brief shower, especially inland areas. Lakeshore expected to remain dry until we get to Friday morning. Then the leading edge of this next system sets up. We'll see scattered showers and storms right on through midday. I think the evening might trend a little bit drier, but good news is severe weather for now focused over in Ohio. The thunderstorm risk across the entire state will actually be rainier in our northern communities, especially into the UP and northern lower Michigan as we get into Friday. So if you're going to be up north, you'll have to keep a closer eye on radar both Friday and Saturday. Temperatures are going to be cooler there too with just the mid 70s uh, here at home. So 87 for Thursday again, warm day feels like temperatures are going to push 90. But here's the setup for the 4th of July evening planner 9 PM. Once that sun starts to set being the upper 70s, that's going to be perfect for all fireworks shows. And then we'll see the rain Friday and Saturday until we dry out on Sunday.